Hi guys, I'm Harsh. You're looking at Veofo's new dual channel dash cam, the A129 Duo. In this video, we'll take a look at how to connect the camera to a smartphone and the Android version of the app available for the A129. App support is available for both Android and iOS. So let's take a look at the Android version and I have it open here in the Google Play Store. So let's start by installing the app. And while the app's installing, let's get into the camera and turn Wi-Fi on. Wi-Fi can be turned on either by long pressing the picture in picture button or by going into the system settings uh, by stopping recording and pressing menu and Wi-Fi is on. And now you see the SSID and the password on the uh, camera screen. Default password is 12345678. And the app's also installed. Let's open the app. And it says connect your camera. Before we do that, let's turn Wi-Fi off, uh, back off from here and go into the system settings and a look at the Wi-Fi setting there. And Wi-Fi turns off, uh, re recording resumes after uh, the camera disables Wi-Fi. And we stopped recording manually by pressing record and then press menu to get into the settings menu. And then we go down to Wi-Fi. Options available are off, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And yeah, this phone, uh, as it supports the 5 gigahertz band, let's select 5 gigahertz. And once we back out of the menu, Wi-Fi turns on. And now you'll see the 5 gigahertz SSID and the password. Password remains the same. Default is 12345678. And now Wi-Fi is on uh, on the camera. So let's uh, click here, connect your camera on the phone. It says searching for camera. Uh, it'll say that because uh, the Wi-Fi on the phone and the camera are still not connected to each other. So let's go into the phone settings and connect the Wi-Fi. And there we see the SSID. And the default password, 12345678. Connect. And as soon as it connects, uh, this goes green here. That means Wi-Fi is connected between the two and it shows connected on the phone with no internet and the Android system also uh, gives a prompt that Wi-Fi has no internet access as this is just a connection between the phone and the camera, no internet involved. Okay, uh, both are connected. Let's go back to the app and connect your camera. And now, uh, since they're connected, uh, straight away we get a live view from the front camera and the rear camera. The smaller view is from the rear camera, the smaller picture in picture. And uh, rest of the information is 1080p plus 1080p for both the cameras recording. Microphone is on. This is uh, to enter the playlist uh, menu uh, to see the files on the micro SD card. Uh, you can download them to your phone as well, to the phone's memory. This is to start and stop recording and this is to go into the system settings. Uh, you can change the system settings on the screen, on the camera, as in through the menu here, or you could do it on the phone as well. So uh, let's press this. It says, stop, please stop recording before doing other operations. And the same goes for system settings also. So yeah, let's stop recording. And as soon as the camera stops recording, it starts beeping and the recording LED indicator starts blinking. And the beeping will stop once we enter the playlist menu. Here you can see all the files on the micro SD card. And in the main menu here, you have the option of multiple selecting files and deleting them or downloading them to your card. This is how you do it, multiple select. If you uh, click this again, all files get selected. You could uh, select multiple files like this also. And yeah, let's unselect all of them, get out of this and select an individual file. So yeah, here you have an option of playing the file from the SD card, downloading the file or deleting the file off the card. Let's play it. And it's buffering because it's playing off the SD card over Wi-Fi. Still buffering. So yeah, it seems like a good idea to uh, copy the, the file uh, to your phone's memory before playing it. Uh, let's uh, tr try doing that uh, for this file only. 
and we press download it starts downloading as you can see the speed is not super fast or super slow I downloaded a 3 minute file earlier it took 2 minutes 15 seconds on the 5 gigahertz band that's for a 3 minute segment a 360 MB file so yeah it's not that bad uh, it's not super fast either so yeah let's cancel this and let's take a look at the file uh, that I downloaded earlier on the phone's memory so if you go on this tab here you, we have the file that I downloaded earlier let's play it and yeah again you can see no buffering because it's on your phone's memory now play smoothly and again you have the option of deleting it off the uh, of your phone's memory in this case now so let's go back out and yeah and this is in case uh, you have multiple files downloaded here you again you have the multi select option uh, for de of de for deleting them off the micro sd card so yeah this does it for the playlist menu and let's look at the system settings camera is beeping as once you exit the playlist menu it doesn't start recording automatically so we can enter the system settings from here and here are all the settings available same settings that are available through the menu on the camera from this button here once you stop recording and yeah I won't be going into detail as I've already made a video uh, which explains most of the settings available for the camera so yeah let's take a quick look at the settings available in the app as well Okay, video resolution, time lapse recording, loop recording, audio recording, on off, exposure front and rear cameras, wide dynamic range, WDR, motion detection, G sensor, date stamp on off. How the selection works is okay, not this one because it's just a single selection there in dual channel mode. Let's try loop recording. And you go down, select whichever option you want. Default was three minutes. So say I want off, I go to off, I press OK, and that's set. Let's go back, set it to 3 minutes, the default option, that's what I use. And that's set back to 3 minutes. The camera is beeping as it's not recording and you're playing around with the settings. So if you think, uh, let me press record and stop the beeping and I'll keep playing around with the settings. That doesn't work. Uh, the settings won't stick uh, once uh, you exit out. So yeah, uh, if you're playing around with the settings on your phone uh, in the car and the camera is mounted, it will keep beeping and it, though an annoyance, uh, yeah. This is how it works. So next we have, yeah, we were down here. Bitrate is next. Then we have parking mode, time zone. All time zones are available as we saw in the earlier video. Back to GMT plus 530. And yeah, image rotation on off. You can, okay, uh, if you don't use the GPS mount, you can synchronize the time uh, to the camera from your phone. So that's a good feature here if you don't use the GPS mount. I use the GPS mount so anyway it gets synchronized to the satellites. Then we have notification sounds, all are on. Live video source, a rare overlay is default. GPS on off, off, back on. And yeah, GPS info stamp, camera model stamp, screen saver is on three minutes. I did that to make the video, the screen was going off again and again. So let's turn this back to one, one minute, that's the default and language is English frequency 50 Hertz you can format the SD card also from uh, from the phone here let's do that and it's formatted you can reset the camera settings also let's not do that right now and you can change the SSID uh, name and password also here for uh, both for the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, uh, as in separately and yeah then we have car license number, custom text stamp. As we saw, whatever you enter here shows up embedded on the video. Then this, this is the app version, free space on the card, and the firmware version, and the model number of the camera. So yeah, back out. And the camera doesn't start recording automatically. You have to re-enable recording by pressing this. And yeah, the camera is recording. And you can uh, dis dis you can basically just back out. You can leave the Wi-Fi on if you want on the camera. You can turn the Wi-Fi off if you want. Uh, entirely up to you. Exit out, and we're back to the main screen. Okay, that does it for how the Wi-Fi functions, how the buttons function for Wi-Fi, and how the app works. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.